What's up guys, Barry Gaming, you're back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be talking about those new deific artifacts that we have, because people are building them, and we are testing a bunch of them out. The first one has to be that Antlers Cane, so it's going from being called our, our Splendid Antlers Cane, and now getting the name Breath of the Forest Spirit, which honestly... Cast this kind of sounds pretty cool. So we're gonna be taking a look at this one Somebody has tested it out because you know our big question was does the all damage dealt only last 10 rounds? Or does it still rat last 15 and the all damage reduction only last 10 rounds? So hopefully you guys enjoy this one Let's talk about our first artifact of the week breath of the four spirit So this is the one that we had the concern on because, well, it gets an insane amount of skill damage, precision, and all these stats on here. It reads, at the end of each round, increases the all the hero's all damage dealt by 9% and all damage reduction by 3% for 10 rounds. I wish I could go through and, like, edit these for them, honestly, because what it should say is, at the end of each round, increases the hero's all damage dealt by 9% period also they will gain all damage reduction by three percent for 10 rounds so the max it actually gets to is 30 percent it's not like it only goes to round 10 it's just a rotating 10 so when round two happens it's now going to push it to round 11 and so on and so forth so it's not that bad really because well we did have somebody testing this out for us here so i'm going to show you guys what we have in store let's go over to this right here and we'll show you this is the item that they had they had the glittery one and honestly yeah you get all the stats just by making glittery which is just insane and it reads similarly at glittery all you're getting is the damage dealt at nine percent which is the same as the splendid antlers cane and all damage reduction he basically ran two in a row this is the one that he used splendid antlers cane he used just the hero by himself that way it was as like close to accurate as possible and then he upgraded it and went with the uh the new one and you can see there is a damage difference so it seems like the effect is the same the only real difference on the hero is of course rng but you're getting a ton of extra skill damage because if we do take a look at that and we compare this to the old school splendid version which we can take a look at all of these in our bag you see antlers cane just had that but you only had 60 skill damage 70 precision 25 percent attack and then it's going up to 90 precision 33 percent attack 300 percent skill damage and 50 speed on top of that when it does get splendid it gets you know uh, a healing effect too which i don't really know if it's necessary considering if you're using this you're most likely running balance strike anyway for the damage bonus uh, beyond the healing so yeah, it's kind of like a shift of yes or no, but it does in fact look like it works properly. So if you are a boss killer, that kind of comes to the point of, well, what do we do? And honestly, there is one path that you need to take if you care about Star Expedition, things like that. Uh, you're no longer going to be using a Splendid Antlers Cane. Technically, you're not even going to be using a Splendid version of this unless you're going all in on this event. If you're going all in on this event, then you can kind of disregard what I'm about to say. However, if you are going in and you want to get the Breath of the Forest Spirit like you saw at the one-star version, which you can take a look at again in the Ormus Workshop, uh, this is giving you a ton of extra stats while retaining the all damage dealt and getting a little bit of a bonus of all damage reduction so that's not too bad you get up to 10 percent all damage reduction essentially for rounds 10 through 15 which is not bad but the most important part you're getting that insane amount of skill damage which is huge for a lot of heroes you're getting more precision more uh attack you're getting speed but like speed has been kind of irrelevant for a long time now so here's the path you need to go if you want this for the next star expedition and this is going to be the only event you do i haven't done anything yet you are going to want to get two of these origin artifact selection chests. You want to pick two of these and you're going to get two of the exotic pistols. Beyond that, you either need to break down your antlers cane. Uh, so when you break it down, like if uh, you're going to get all these back, you need two of these antlers canes that are just one star. And then what you're going to do is take two of those chests that have two of the exotic pistols and two of the antlers can combine them together and make two of the orange version breath of the forest spirit 
because yeah you, you still need four and beyond that you're going to need 200 glorious relics because each one of these costs 100 so two of the chests from this week two regular antlers canes and 200 glorious relics is going to get you two breath of the four spirit once you do that you can then come on over here and you can create it right here so you're gonna have to have one that you upgraded to six star and then you're gonna need to feed in another regular version of this uh technically that's a grand total of five artifacts but again this is already better than the splendid version so instead of going for additional regular artifacts if you can get your hands on these special chests that's going to be the best route because a glittery version of the new ones are basically better than the splendid version of the old artifacts and that's almost holds true for like everything like even if you look at crown here uh if you look at the splendid crown right here uh 18 25 25 and you get the 50 percent versus just the glittery version down here uh, you're getting the same effect except you're also getting the bonus 20 percent damage reduction and you're getting the bonus stats here so like much better route it's this more expensive route of course because you need to get your hands on these and if you can't well then you have to wait uh so this is a really interesting system because it might potentially change how free to play go <sighs> but the fact that it's directly competing with essence of sublimation and cores of origin is just triggering honestly i think it's time to like remove most of these things here and make a separate tier for like these four things maybe put these four things at a cheaper tier and then put like these two at the higher tier maybe or maybe even put the cores lower because again you need two of these chests in order to make a glittery which means you can do that free to play this week like a hundred percent you can definitely do this free to play um the only thing you're going to have to do is let me pull up my actual chart here that we were talking about with the rewards um the breakdown is essentially saying if you want to get two of these uh you're going to have to go for 280 points which is 2000 heroic summons 50 five star heroes and soul awakenings but then you're not getting cores of transcendence and or cores of origin and i don't know if that's necessarily worthwhile so let me know what you guys think but it is interesting to think that the glittery version of the new artifacts is actually just straight up better than the splendid version of the old ones i guess it makes sense because look all these artifacts are shining and it's pretty nuts so so let me know what you guys think let me know what your plans are again if you're a light spender these might be something worthwhile to chase if you're free to play i would still hold off until we have chances to see really what they benefit in uh but this is going to be the new go-to if you love star expedition hopefully you guys enjoy this one we'll be covering more artifacts over this weekend and i'll see you guys next time